So at like midnight a couple weeks ago, I just got a link from Linus that says, please buy, put in the be ideas list. Okay, but hold on, hold on. How irresistible is this thing, okay? <laughs> Now, here in North America, typically our AIO liquid coolers connect to a CPU or a GPU. This one connects to both, and it's got great features like Comet Tail LED, designed with two high water flow pumps, take heat away from hotspot and moves to radiator. This one is gonna be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. And today's video is brought to you by Glasswire. With Glasswire, you can instantly see your current and past network activity, detect malware, and block badly behaving apps on your PC or Android device. Use offer code Linus to get 25% off at the link below. So should we just start with the unboxing here? Yeah, might as well. We have this beautiful computer over here. Yeah, the computer is a total misfit for this thing because I yeah. think this thing's gonna be kind of junky. I don't know how beautiful it should be by the end. How much did we pay for this? Oh, it was it was quite a bit. Uh, so from like the US, you're able yeah. to get it for like 150, 160 bucks thereabouts. That's competitive, yeah. um, especially because you're just buying one of them instead of you know two of them if you wanted to use AIOs. Yeah, getting one of them shipped to Canada cost us a uh, fine $260. Oh, seriously? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at this thing. It's actually kind of clever. So you get some savings because you only need a single radiator, um, but then you negate some of your savings because they actually went and put two pumps in the thing. So this one is designed, I guess, to go in either the front of your case, maybe, hopefully, I don't know if that's gonna reach, or the top. And then this one is supposed to go down to your GPU. Wow, the spacing is... Yeah, there's not a lot there. ...pretty tight, actually. And then this one's cute. So I've actually seen these kinds of mods before. It's got what looks like a pretty standard AIO block and pump unit. And then it's just got this uh, cooling fan shroud that's attached to it, with the idea being that you don't need a full coverage cooling solution, because this is going to cool your VRMs and your RAM. Honestly speaking, other than committing one of my favorite sins, which is to have a fan that the frame doesn't seal against the edge of the radiator. Oh yeah. So, like, it, just, it kills your pressure. Um, there's no obvious deficiencies in like materials quality that I can see. Yeah, the only thing that I'd say is this radiator is kind of small for a CPU and a GPU. A triple would have probably been better. Yeah, they did actually show off a triple at CES, but it never came to actually exist, so oh, there okay. you go. <laughs> oh boy, um, <clears throat> silicone heat sink plaster. Ooh, fun. What is heat sink plaster? Whatever it is, I think it involves putting these little memory chip coolers onto our card, possibly permanently. Oh, I feel bad for that 1070 then. Well, we wouldn't be having the whole experience if we didn't follow the instructions. Should be pretty easy. Theoretically, yes. Are we AMD or Intel here? Intel. Do you want to talk us through if there's any other amazing features while I go ahead and power this down? Uh, so maybe my personal favorite is TDP, 400 watts Intel platform, 350 watts AMD platform. Not sure where those extra watts come from for Intel, but uh, sure. Let's see what else we have in here. Nope, the details, it's just a couple pictures. Uh <laughs> Do you know for sure that this is booted? because I pressed it and it's not shutting down. Uh, I don't know. Well, in our convenient and fancy new workshop, <clears throat> gotta move this water bottle out of the way, ltcstore.com. Fortunately, we have a very easy way to check. <sighs> Should wake up when you plug in a new thing. There we go. Oh, heck yeah, all right. In terms of mounting hardware, honestly, it doesn't look that much more complicated than any other AIO. The one challenge is that in addition to your CPU mounting hardware, right, you've also got a whack of graphics card mounting hardware. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do the radiator to start with, then I get, wait, what? No, we have to like, oh, what is the best way to tackle this? I guess you kind of have to mount the GPU to this 
first. Oh yeah. And then you like mount this in the case and then this to the CPU. They should, they should clarify that. Cause wait, what the hell? It only has a <laughs> CPU guide. You're on your own for the graphics card. Is there another piece of documentation I missed? Yeah, the uh, downloads page on their website's really helpful too. Oh, oh good. Yeah, there's okay. literally nothing there. Um, all right, let's figure out the GPU first then, I guess. Unreal. Huh? Do you ever feel like Nvidia's stock coolers are just unnecessarily difficult to take apart? Yep. And rip. No, 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 no. Sure. So I had the back plate. Um, hopefully you weren't looking for that. Well, Isn't why? this great? Check this out. We already have a hardware destroying problem. This right here interferes. Oh, yep, that's a bit, that's a bit of a zapper. <laughs> well, they include fiber washers to deal with that. The problem is just that there's no spacers, so it would crush this thing. So I guess what I was thinking is, do we even need this? Um, we should use one. Well, but we can still just put the other back plate on and no one will even notice. But we could just use the back plate now that I have spacers. I guess so. Why do you hate my back plate? <laughs> Basically, we just need to put this puppy on now then, right? Yeah, should we install all the little heatsink chummies first? Uh, that seems like a good idea. You got the alcohol? Uh, yep. I'm afraid to put that paste on this thing. Oh, are we really doing this? Yep. Screw it, fine. I'm glad you grabbed a 1070 and not like an RTX 2080 Ti or something stupid like that. I was kind of concerned that it just might not work like it should. I'm pretty concerned about these. They don't really seem to be on there that much. Yeah, but I think this is glue. I guess so. It doesn't say anything about like how long it takes to adhere or anything. We're flying blind. Sure. <laughs> well, here's some random thermal compound. Realistically, it's probably about the same as everything else. So we'll cover the GPU. Yep. And this is it then, right? Uh, should we put the thingies in there first? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so that seems fine, right? Yep. Okay. Oops. Sure. Okay. It's a thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's something. Wouldn't it just be beautiful if one of those heat sinks just popped off and shorted it out? No. Okay, now we need our nylon spacers that I obtained for us. Look, I even got four matching ones. And there we go. No interference issue. Nice. It's too bad the instructions didn't have anything about this, otherwise uh, more people might not destroy their graphics card. Well, I've seen uglier graphics cards. Not uh, often. Yeah, I've seen prettier ones a Not couple recently. seconds ago. <laughs> okay, well that's it, that's the GPU. So now, we gotta like, put it in. Yeah. This, is, this is actually gonna be a two person job. Cause like, otherwise it's gonna be all over the place. All right. Oh geez, these fans are like wired right into the case. Holy crap, Alex. Oh geez, what happened there? You left the, wi the window open. And oh. it, it was heavy <laughs> enough, it just tipped it. That could have been unfortunate. Okay, so the good news is that our concerns about the tubing lengths seem to be completely unfounded. You know what, I'd say going towards the front is yeah. what they intended. I like that look more anyway. All right, so do you want me to hold the fans in place? Yep. Is that Hold like on. anywhere close? Yep, you're close. Thank you. All right, so I think this is as simple as they have just cloned the regular Ace Attack mounting system. And I can just pop these bad boys on here and we're pretty much ready to rock. Perfect. In case you guys were wondering why this thing is not typically available in North America, that would be my guess. Ace Attack has a North American patent on these uh, CPU block and pump combo units like this. 
and I can guarantee you these guys are not paying the licensing fee. If Ace Attack even offers that program, I don't know if they do. I wonder if that Noctua compound that we had left over would have been better than what they have. Probably. I hear I can hold this, and I can put the mounting mechanism on it too. All right, it really is not the greatest looking mounting mechanism, and actually they didn't straight up clone the Asetek system because there's no way to kind of rotate it for the most optimal tubing runs. But the good news is that it did fit in our case just fine. Um, it's putting a little bit more strain on this tube and this memory stick than I'd like, but not the end of the world. Yeah, whatever. Do I have your permission to throw this piece of paper towel off? No. No. Just leave it here, and then if we need to wipe off more thermal compound, we'll have it. Don't waste. So that's it. It's on. I'm stoked. So I'm going to plug this into our AIO pump header. So I will plug the two. Man, I just, I love how perfect all the fan header spots are for this system. It's amazing. Like I've got CPU fan, CPU opt for my radiator fans. I've got AIO pump over here. I've got chassis fan over here for this one. And then I've got W pump over here for this pump. It's amazing, it's amazing. And it's ready to rock. You ready? Yeah. All right, moment of truth. Do it, hit it, I'm ready. Is the power supply on? I don't know. Yeah, no, yes. Yeah. Okay, the RGB lighting is pretty, uh, it's there. Is it RGB Wait. or is it just R? It's not configurable at all. There's no USB. <laughs> it's just like that for days. Well, but Linus, the Comet Tail LED design adds to the visual enjoyment. All right, well, yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying it visually right now. It's like a feast for the eyes, especially with these Royale dims. Nice touch, <laughs> love it. All right, so what were we using for our stress test? today. So we did Blender, we did Fermark, and we did 3D Mark. So in this before, after 10 minutes, we got to... Uh, we're already at 71 degrees. Okay, so we got to a max of 79 degrees after 10 minutes. What was our clock speed though? I'm not sure what the clock speed was. We were doing 100 FPS. So we're at 75 degrees already, but we're at 107 FPS, so it is still turboing higher. Oh, I wonder if part of the problem is that we're not controlling like the pump speed of the GPU with the GPU temperature. It shouldn't matter. The pump should just go ham. That's what those pump headers are supposed to do. Should we just put them to full blast? It's definitely spinning. No, oh, it's at 81 degrees now. Well, that's it. It's gonna start thermal throttling now. Yeah. 104 FPS. How can it be that bad? Let's just double check into the BIOS. Let's go back, set all of the pumps to just full blast and I mean, it happens so fast, it can't be a fan issue. It would have to be a pump issue. But like, it's not bad enough that, like, you know, it's clearly not doing anything. How could it be so terrible? <laughs> Holy crap, did we just break a graphics card? There's no way. Uh, there is a way. Well, there is a way, but. I just don't even get it. This thing would have to be basically a flat piece of copper to be this bad. Well, a flat piece of copper at least wouldn't break your GPU, probably. I mean, the cooling oh, fan... Oh, we're back. Okay. Well, the Thank God. <laughs> the cooling fan for the back of the card is doing its job, for the most part. Okay. AIO pump, 2000 RPM. Oh yeah, W pump plus. Cranked. Okay. All right, how about Blender then? Which render did you run? Oh, we did Classroom. What processor are we even running in here? Uh, 7900X. Okay. So, 10 cores. So, last time with the Noctua, the CPU temperature was a max of 70 degrees, which that was after like eight or so minutes. But this really isn't looking that bad. So, Blender just finished. Uh, we got a max of 70 degrees. That's not bad. Yeah, that's exactly the same as this small cooler. That's $100 less. I mean, where we really run into trouble, though, is if we were to try and hit the GPU and the CPU at the same time. Oh, the GPU is at 70 degrees already. Yep. How can it be so, at least mostly sufficient on the CPU and so far off on the GPU? Doesn't make sense. Should we just try remounting it? Like, I can't think of anything else that would... Like, are we just missing part of the die? 
Do you want to try remounting it? I think it can't hurt. Okay. I'm going to go set up my show while you do that. So it does look like that we missed a bit of the die here. So I am going to try and fix that. I still don't know if that's enough to really cause us a problem. All right, so not all of the GPU die was covered in paste, so maybe that was our issue. Okay. Right now at idle, it's at 31 degrees. Yeah, which like is, that's what we'd expect yeah. with good contact. So let's just hit it and see what happens. 45, 50, 51, 2. So was that it? Yeah, it might have just been poor contact. Nice. Let's, let's run for like 10 minutes or something, find out if it actually does better than stock. 10 minute timer. You know, I gotta say, I'm actually pretty impressed. Yeah, we got, what was it, a maximum of 66 degrees in Fermark after it's been running for like 30 minutes. And when I didn't have a blender render running in the background, we got 106 FPS, which is more important. That tells us that our GPU is actually turboing higher with this cooler than it was with the stock cooler. Now our CPU is running a bit hotter when you're hitting both the CPU and GPU at the same time, but at 75 degrees on a, what is this, a 7900X? Yep. <laughs> That's pretty reasonable for a 10 core, not particularly efficient CPU. So overall, bad instructions, significant risk of damaging <laughs> or destroying your hardware, but for 160 bucks compared to, you know, say buying like a regular just CPU AIO. Yeah, not bad. Is it getting the seal of approval? I don't know if it gets a recommendation, but it gets the like, if. If it fits, it sits. If you're like kind of edgy with your computer. Yeah. It's actually not bad. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't overclock the CPU or anything. This is for stock operation and it's not particularly quiet or anything, but it does make your GPU go faster. I mean, maybe you'd just be better off getting a GPU AIO and then a CPU heatsink. Well, but also if you have like an i5, like the overclockable one, you could chuck that on there. Yeah. Might be able to get a bit. You could overclock the GPU. So I wouldn't recommend overclocking the CPU. And for the money, you might be better off just getting a heatsink and then a, a GPU only AIO. But hey, if you want to be water cooled on a budget, it is not as stupid as we thought it might be. Yeah, not bad. Speaking of not stupid, our sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is our sponsor for today's episode and Squarespace makes it easy for anyone to build their own functional, beautiful website. We use it for both ltxexpo.com and linusmediagroup.com and you'll find that no matter what you're trying to build, Squarespace has got a template for you. If you need help, Squarespace offers webinars, a full series of help guides, or you can even contact their support 24 seven via live chat and email, but don't take my word for it. Try it out for free at squarespace.com forward slash LTT. If you use our link, you'll get 10% off your first purchase. If you enjoyed this video guys and you're looking for another crazy cooling video with Alex, um, uh, what's that me. thing called? That was Colin. Thermosiphon, uh, that was you. Oh, yeah, Thermosiphon was me, but I was thinking the one where Colin put a oh, CPU right. cooler on the GPU. Oh, yeah, that one's good, too. Uh, that's Oh, that's actually a cheaper way to get yeah, this. great cooling on both. Whatever. <laughs> Check it out. Let's throw the Thermosiphon down there, too. And I'm gone. To the Wancho! <laughs>